All right, that's the uh, Kira coastline. Doing a recovery style long run here. I'll flip it around. Hey, friends. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, five weeks out from the Gold Coast Marathon. And uh, normally today would be a hard long run during this plan. Pretty much every weekend. I've done uh, five runs 30k or over in the past five weeks, most at fairly fast pace. So this one's going to be a bit shorter, 24k, and around about five minute pace. So it feels really nice to do that. It's kind of like a reward in the middle of the training block for the hard work I've been doing. And I get to wear the uh, invincible run, so I'm nice and comfortable. The sun's out. It's just. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, right here. Yeah. I uh, hope everyone's getting outside today, especially if the weather's like this. There's a lot of racing going on this weekend. Noosa, a lot of friends doing the half marathon up there. The Pentath run at Warwick. A lot of my friends out there too. It's really exciting. Ooh, I'm getting sore. It's exciting to see everyone reaping the rewards of their training. I'm looking forward to that moment come July. Feeling pretty confident coming into the next week, which will be the biggest week or the toughest week in the training block. We're trying to do what we'll be doing uh, four times 5k at hopefully around 355 pace midweek. Um, recovery days in between, of course, and then on the weekend. It's the main long run test, marathon specific. Be a short warm up and then marathon pace, which I haven't fully decided on yet, but it's going to be somewhere between 4 minute and 4.10 per kilometre. And I'll be doing that run, I believe, around 29 kilometres at that pace and then short recovery. So this hopefully will put me in a good position to be able to get through those workouts and then uh, knowing what I can do in those workouts will give me confidence coming into oops I lost the video there for a sec accidentally pressed the uh, off button uh, that'll the training like that will give me the confidence coming into the race a lot of people talk about mental toughness and it's a real thing and I find that most of the confidence you get really just comes from knowing you've done the training you know, if you've really nailed your training, you should be able to do, you know, all things being well, or any kind of disasters or whatever, you should be able to do what you're trained to do. So that's going to be the main confidence boost coming into the race. I've got uh, water in this bottle and the electrolyte uh, carbohydrate mix that's going to be used in the race. In the other, I've got uh, some baby food here. It's a little bit lower calorie than most of the gels, but it feels a bit more natural, so it's nice. I'm actually going to use, I'll test out this week, getting some uh, of the reusable baby food pouches, making my own mix. The gels are quite expensive for the good ones, like you know, $6 each Australian. Pretty full on, you do a long run, use three or four gels. That's, uh, you know, the shoes are up there, so I don't want to spend that much money on gels. And I think I can make a better mix myself. I know I can. You know, use things like dates and celery. It'll be cool. Looking forward to that. So see how that goes. Should be able to get it sorted before the race so I know exactly what's happening with my fueling. Okay. Anyway, I am gonna sign off. Keep going. 10 and a half K into the run. Nearly turnaround point time. And uh, average 457, so yeah, it'll be about five minute pace. Heart rate sitting on 140, which is fine. Enjoying the sun and love and life. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Have an epic day. Peace. Thought I'd share a bit more of the view for you guys before I go. And also mention that um, I'd love to hear about how your training's going. 
running or otherwise. Look at that. And uh, the goals you've got. So let me know in the comments. And uh, you can check out your channel if you've got one. I guess you have to have one to comment, yeah? Whether you're doing videos or not, we can, uh, the more community we can create, the better. Help each other. All right. I'm going to enjoy this.